Hey, what's going on, everyone? I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com here in Allendale. It is time to reignite one of the best public school rivalries in all of North Jersey. It's Northern Highlands and Ramapo. These two rivals have gone to war many times over the last couple of seasons, every single game down to the wire. I'll give you a little hint. This one is absolutely no different. Highlands brought the energy on the game's opening drive. Nate Johnson finds Shane Hanlon wide open for a touchdown. It's a broken coverage, and it goes for 28 yards. The Highlanders go up 7-0 just a few minutes in. Second drive for the Highlanders. They go back to the passing game. Nate Johnson airs it out. It's Shane Hanlon again. This time he hoofs it 71 yards, and he breaks the plane. Wow! Northern Highlands flies out to a 14-0 lead through one quarter. Now we fast forward to late in the second quarter. Ramapo misses a field goal, so Highlands is back on offense and driving. Johnson hustles for a first down to keep the drive alive. Now there's six seconds on the clock. Johnson doesn't miss. Here's a strike to Gavin Soares for six. Nate Johnson is on fire with three first half touchdown passes. The Highlanders have all the momentum going into the locker room. They're up 21-0. Third quarter now, Ramapo has to get something going. Landon DePrima hits Charlie Wingfield for a first down connection on third and long. A few plays later, DePrima goes back to Wingfield in the red zone. It's a seven yard touchdown and that makes it 21-7. Here's the ensuing kickoff. Wingfield turns and drops it in. Casey Grusser's all over it. Ramapo recovers an onside kick and they are right back on offense. It's a short field for DePrima and company. They're in the red zone again. Landon DePrima works through those progressions and finds Nehemiah Burleson wide open. This one for eight yards. Okay, buckle up. It's a 21-14 game just midway through the third. The Raiders are back on offense just three minutes later. DePrima's locked in. That's Brandon Del Valle with the first down. He works into the Highlands 10-yard line. Next play, the call is a handoff to James McGurko, and he finds Paydirt. McGurko fights in for the game-tying score. It's 21-21 with 2.43 left in the third. Now Highlands needs a response. It's Cole Stecker weaving through traffic. He picks up 25 yards. That moves the sticks into scoring range. And Nate Johnson does the rest. He goes up the gut, gets popped, but who cares, it's a touchdown. Nate Johnson is tough. Extra point is no good, so Highlands leads 27-21 at the end of the third. Ramapo claps back to open the fourth. To Prima with a strike to Brandon Del Valle, who bullies into the end zone from 22 yards out. Del Valle won't be denied. That makes it 28-27 with 10.47 left in regulation. The Highlanders march the field on their ensuing drive, and it's Nate Johnson once more. He's got five touchdowns on the night. Johnson is a gamer. So now it's 33-28, and the book says to go for two. So Johnson looks to the corner, but Zach Schnorbush is there in coverage. The Highlanders only lead by five with 7.32 to play. That is more than enough time for this Raider offense. DePrima steps up into the pocket and hits Charlie Wingfield on the run for a huge first down. Landon DePrima would look again for his big target. He fights Charlie Wingfield in the corner. It's a circus catch for the touchdown. That is unreal. Charlie Wingfield makes an unbelievable catch Going to the ground, he secures it one foot in, touchdown. It's the go-ahead score in this game, but a failed two-point try keeps the score at 34-33 with 5.36 left. The Highlanders would get one final chance to take the lead, 
but Nate Johnson is intercepted over the middle. Dylan Rosano has the pick. The Raiders get the ball back. They run the clock out and celebrate a ridiculous win. Wow, what a game. 34-33 is the final. With the win, Ramapo snaps a three-game losing streak to the Highlanders. Two of the games in that timeline have been off the charts. The Raiders showed resolve in the second half after erasing a 21-point deficit as they stormed back for the win. You know, it really does feel good to finally take one from them, but, you know, the, we kind of look at it like blocking all the previous games out, all the noise from the outside. We kind of try to look at the past in the past, and we're just happy to catch another win tonight. You know, they're just another team. We didn't, these guys weren't the same kids playing two years ago when we lost. It's a new game. Listen, that, that's what we talk about all the time is blocking out the noise. At the end of the day, you, you reduce everything down. It's a football game between two teams, rules and refs. And whoever executes best within that framework is going to come out on top. And today, that's what we did. Oh, yeah, it was huge. I mean, coaches always said, don't let the game be bigger than it is. And that's all it was. Once we got that second touchdown, I knew we had to stay, stay relaxed, stay poised, and get it back on defense. And we did. We just wanted to forget about the last games. Every game, Treat every game like it's a... We're zero and zero. Forget about the past. Just come in like it's regular other game. Don't treat it like any. Don't treat it like it's Highlands. Just treat it like a regular game. Reporting from Allendale, I'm Jay Cook, JerseySportsZone.com.